Mamma Mia! Here we go again. Hollywood star and car enthusiast Dominic Cooper has trouble with his 10,000 pounds classic Fiat 4x4 Sisley Cabriolet, after having five cars stolen in a year. He has had a string of rotten luck with his vehicles after previously having five cars stolen over the course of a year, and Dominic Cooper appeared to be having trouble with his classic Fiat 4x4 Sisley Cabriolet as he was seen checking the bonnet on Thursday. A classic car enthusiast, the actor proceeded to check out the vehicle, which costs around £10,000, with the help of a friend, before taking out his go cycle from the boot of his car. The Mamma Mia! Hunk looked unbothered by his car problems as he chilled with a pair of aviator sunglasses shielding his eyes from the sunshine. Dressed in a low-key pair of black trousers, the star teamed them with a plain white t-shirt while sporting white and red Nike trainers. Back in 2021, Dominic appealed for help on social media after having his fifth car, a Jaguar XF, stolen in 12 months. The theft came just four months after his rare £83,000 Ferrari Dino 308 GT4 was stolen from outside his home, and his run of bad luck with cars stretches back into July 2020 when he had his 1950s-era Austin Healey car, with around £65,000, swiped in its replacement, a red Jaguar F-type coupe P300 was taken shortly afterwards. The following month, a Range Rover which he had been using to deliver meals to NHS staff was also stolen, sparking a plea of social media for his return. Dominic felt he was being targeted and wanted residents in his local neighborhood in Primrose Hill to be vigilant over car gangs. It was previously reported that Dominic's latest series The Gold has been renewed for a second series. The crime series is based on the infamous £26 million Brinks Matt heist in 1983 and stars Jack Loden and Hugh Bonneville. Jack plays Kenneth Noyer, the ambitious crook who arranged for most of the £26 million in gold. Bars to be melted down and sold. Now, according to The Sun, the next season is now set to explore in further detail the stories of other figures in the crime like Charlie Wilson, the great train robber who attempted to launder money via Pablo Escobar's drug ring. A TV insider told the publication, this will be music to the ears of fans, some of whom have already seen all the episodes on iPlayer. Although every channel and streamer likes to revisit true crime stories, the gold is one which seems to have captured people's imagination. Not only is it a nostalgia trip filled with 80s cars, clothes and music, it provides a more in-depth look at the background of the criminals involved. Now they're going to explore even more characters involved in the original crime. The true crime adaptation sees the Paddington star, 59, play Detective Superintendent Brian Boyce and the Slow Horses star, 32, take on the real-life crook Kenneth Noyer. Building on its success, the BBC has also commissioned a one-off hour-long documentary exploring the investigation, the gold, the inside story.